Today I'm going to talk about rainy season and Ayurved. What are the effects of rainy season seen on the body? Which are the most common diseases that we see? How do you prevent it? How do you cure it if you have one? Basically, how do you take care of your overall body when it comes to rainy season? We see the skin infections very common during the rainy season. If you have one, you need to know that how do you cure it? Patients have the skin diseases that start in this season, goes on for years and years with all reoccurrences, relapses, disease coming back again. It's very important to know what you should prevent. If you have one, what you must do in the first stage itself to cure the root cause. Anyway, even at the end stage or the most severe stage where everywhere all the body is covered with skin infections or arthritis issues, which again we commonly see during the rainy season, how do you tackle it? How do you cure it? We'll understand in this video. Let's understand what Ayurved talks about rainy season. Namaste everyone. Welcome to Jovi's Hospital of Ayurved and Aesthetic Center, Mumbai. Shravan and Bhadrapat, which is from mid-July to mid-September, is considered as Varsha Ritu, which is the rainy season. There are several routines explained in Ayurveda. Dhinacharya, which is the daily regime. Ratri Charya, which is the night regime. Similarly, there is an explanation given about Ritu Charya, which is the seasonal regime. Six seasons. Shishira Vasant Grishma, these are the three seasons which falls in the Adan Kal category. And then there is the Varsha Sharad Hemant, which falls into the Visarga Kal category. I'll put the months, dates everywhere over here so you can go through once. The Adan Kal ends and the Varsha Ritu starts. Varsha Ritu starts in the mid-July where the Adan Kal ends. So in the Adan Kal it is said that this is a period of depletion. In the Charak Samhita Sutra Sthan 6 chapter 33rd verse it is beautifully explained as Adan Durbale Dehe Pakta Bhavit Durbalam which means during the Adan Kal there is Sharir Bal that decreases, the strength of the person decreases. There is Agni Bal, the digestive fire which is weak. You must have seen the hunger goes down especially during this season compared to the other seasons. So because of this, we see a lot of klinnata, a lot of waste that is collected in the body. Due to Vata Prakop, we see Vishtambit Agni which further leads to Vidaha, which further leads to the Pitta Sanchai. The fire is collected, you know, Sanchai, collected in the body. If we see the Chakrapani Tika, Charak Sutra Sthan, we see 6 by 34. There is a statement mentioned which is Dhatu Poshak Rasanupadascha Dhatu Kshayena Vatari which means that Dhatu Kshinata is seen during this Adan Kal. Dhatu Kshinata, which means that there is a depletion of the seven tissues. Rasadraktam Tatomausam, we see from the plasma, blood, blood, muscles, fat, bones, bone marrow and the reproductive system, which is Shukra for males and Artha for female. We see Dhatu Kshinata, depletion of all the seven tissues, which leads to Vat Prakop in the body. So, Dhatu Kshinata, Vat Prakop, we see the Sharir Dorbalam and the Agni Bal decreasing, we see Pitta and Kaf increasing. So, in the Adan Kal, or because of these reasons, we see all the three doshas are increasing. Same goes with the Hetu Lakshana of Kushta Rog. Causes of skin diseases, we see all the three doshas of the body are imbalanced. And along with the Rakta, Mausa, Twacha and Ambu Vahastrotas Dushti or Ambu Dushti. All these factors, the seven factors disruption is seen when it comes to the Utpatti of Kushta Rog. Hence, psoriasis, eczema, which are the world's number one diseases. We see how it starts from dryness and further there is burning, there is itching and all the other problems. Basically, vat is something that pulls everything along with it. First is the dryness. Hence, it's very important to take care of the dryness externally as well as internally in the body, which is built up during this you know, Adan Kal. Hence, in the Varsha Ritu, utmost care has to be taken that there is no sort of dryness, internal, external. And hence, we must take the right steps in order to balance this Vat Dosh. So, we understand from your Vat is something that we have to target. It is said as Abhyangam Achare Nitya Sajara Shramavata, which means the best for Vat. It is Abhyanga, daily massage, daily rubbing of the liquids, medicated oils or sesame oil which is considered as best or easily available, safe. 
sesame oil massage nitya daily base shrama shrama which means weakness which is seen in the adan kal hence to build up the loss and the digestive fire and all the strength abhyangam achare nitya sa jara shrama vataha the vat in the body decreases it is said as for vat basti chikitsa is the best basti which is the medicated enema and never the water enemas whether it's yog basti whether it's matra basti any kind of a medicated enema under proper supervision is the best one can do to prevent a problem to cure a disease even which is said as incurable so that is basti chikitsa of course there are simple guidelines that are given that you know one must uh, avoid walking in dirty water infections are very common one must make sure the body is warm enough so that the viruses do not enter the body one must make sure they do not sleep in the day time because it hampers digestion and further the digestive fire or let's say the metabolism is slowed down so one must take care of all these pointers it is seen that problems like you know fever chikungunya dengue malaria all these are commonly seen hence utmost care has to be taken when it comes to strengthening the immune system several medicines let me talk about bronco med syrup of active with india door to door family to family doctor to doctor across the globe has been talking about the use of bronco med and its ingredients and its wonderful benefits when it comes to strengthening the respiratory system strengthening the immune system hence bronco med syrup certain liver tonics to strengthen and to have the gain enhance the gain the strength of a person which is livsimet tablet livsimet syrup so one can go through the ingredients the benefits how do these simple of the simple medicines work of course when have a problem consult an authentic practitioner as per the prakruti the treatment is given but these are certain safe medicines that one must have in case of any ups and downs so broncomed livsimed all these are the proprietary ayurveda medicines if we talk about bhava prakash nigantu years ago it is mentioned that in this season one must use haritaki with sandav lavan which is harade terminalia chebula along with rock salt it is said that one must make the use of medicines which are classical medicines 5000 years ago people you know have been using it this is the use of hingvashtak the use of dashmur which is the 10 roots explained in ayurveda dashmur hingvashtak all these medicines have to be on a day to day basis to take care of their overall body we see fungal infections starting you know in this season due to hygiene due to dirty water you know due to all the uh, you know mess or all the cleanliness that we see during this season hence the use of sulfur which is gandhak in ayurveda the use of tanka namla there is different combination one must use from the first day itself taking bath from neem water decoction very useful several several herbs several combinations that one must make use from the first day itself we spoke about karanj and its wonderful effects on skin and skin diseases one can make the use of it one must make sure that they don't suppress the disease don't suppress the spring don't go for the over the counter application because every patient does that and the disease goes on for years and years comes back again and we don't really want that so take the right action at the right time in the initial stage itself to cure the roots we see upset stomach you know diarrhea issues during this season so one must make the use of unripe belfal unripe belfal pomegranate there is kutaj medicines you know kutaj which is holarena kutaj dravya and we see the digestive fire strong enough there are so many things that we can talk about varsha ritu but here are most important points that you must know that you must share with other people which are important you must take care of it you must look at the preventive aspect as well so that's all about ayurved and varsha ritu rainy season this is all for now any doubts any questions let us know in the comment section below until next time from jovis and the team look impressive be progressive